Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to day 18 of learning to program in Ruby. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I have other tutorials on my channel as well, so if you haven't, go ahead and check those out. So today we're going to be building a histogram, and specifically we're going to be giving back um, the amount of words, each word in our string, and then the amount of each time, and then we're also going to sort by the amount of those words. So um, to just show you, we'll go ahead and start the command prompt and we will pull in the file and we'll drop it in right there I'll hit enter and now we're going to write a sentence and that's going to be this is the end and we'll just do like a capital end the this in lowercase and then this this end and then let's do is 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 and hit enter and now it's sorting It's saying is is five times, this is four times, and this th end is three times, and the is two times. And notice that it's sorted this by the amount um, at, the, at the top and the least amount at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is prompt the user. So let's just do puts and then write a string. And again, you don't necessarily need to prompt the user, but we want to put that in there. Below that, we need to get the actual input of the user. So we'll do text is equal to gets.chomp. Then we come down below that, and we're actually going to skip this phase, and we're just going to go straight to words is equal to text split. Text.split. And so now we've t we've set our text into a um, oh, let's fix that there. So now we've set we've equ we've turned our text.split into the variable words. And then below that we need to create a hash. So what we're going to do is we're going to write frequency as the name of our hash. And we are going to set that equal to hash.new. and then we're going to make our argument zero. And now we're going to take our words that are now our text.split and we're going to do words dot each. And now in here we're going to make this item and you can make this any word you want really but item is just so we know what's going on. And we're going to make that outside of that we're going to do frequencies go ahead and tab that, oh, frequencies And then your brackets and you're going to type in item right here now each time we come across the same item we're going to plus it plus equal to one so what we're doing here is we are words dot each is we're taking each item and each item is each word and then we're it'll we'll output that and then it'll take the frequency which is going to be part of our hash that we're creating and it's going to each time it finds the same item it's going to plus it by one and then we need to do frequencies and we need to do frequencies because we're gonna have to sort this um, because it's gonna have those each individual one right but we need to sort the items like we did in our um, program so that they display properly and what we will do is we will write frequencies sort by sort by dot sort by right down there and then what we will do is we will do our curly braces and within our curly braces we're gonna do our vertical bars again we're gonna type item and then we're gonna do amount so we've taken both of those items in here and then outside what we're going to do is we're going to sort by the amount. So our amount is however many times that we get frequencies and or sorry, it's how many frequencies we get the item plus one. So and then we're sorting by that number. Now we could sort by item dot like say length and it would sort by the item of uh, it would sort by that string length if we were to do that. And we can actually I'll show you that later. Then we want to do frequencies dot each do and we are going to do our vertical bars and our item comma amount 
and then below that is this is what each item is going to do. We're going to do puts item plus, and we need to make sure that we have a space in between these two. So we need to do a string like that. Why that deleted that? And we need to plus again because we've now we've just plused in this string right here. So we need to actually plus again, and we need to do our amount dot to string because our amount is currently going to be set as an integer and we want it to come back as a string. And you need to come down here and end it. Go ahead and save that. And you can save it as histogram. I'm going to save mine as histogram 3 because I have 2 already. And hit save. And then open your command prompt with Ruby. And pull it in and hit enter. Now it says write a string. And I'm going to do this is the end again. The end this is. Now I'm going to capitalize is here. And then I'm going to lowercase this. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now you see here it says this is one, is is once, is capitalized is once, the is twice, and end is twice, this is twice. But you see this up here has been counted. So because these are not the same, it's counted them as different because there's a capital T here. So the first thing that we're going to do is you can see that it's sorting, and it's also sorting first. It's sorting by the lowest number, but we want it to sort by highest number. But first, let's make this so that this and lowercase this count as three instead of two separate. Does that make sense? So it'll count as this being there three times instead of this being there twice and then a capital this being there once. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we need to set text to downcase. So we write text dot downcase and we need to do our exclamation point so that it's downcase in place then we will save it and now let's pull this in again hit enter this is the end this is the end we'll do end as uppercase and some like that and then hit enter and now you see it's this is the and then end is there four times because what it's done is it's lowercased everything from our text right here by doing downcase and then it counts it properly that way but you see here we still have the lowest amount being displayed first so what we need to do is we need to reverse that so if we come in here right after frequency or right below frequency equal we can do frequencies dot reverse and we need to reverse it in place as well then I will hit save or you will hit save on your end I guess we'll all hit save and then bring it back in right there enter this is the end and and this is the, 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 and let's do an is right there. No, nope, that's fine. Then hit enter. And now it's the four times and three times is two times this two times. Perfect. Now let's play around with this a little bit. So instead of doing a mount, let's come back up here and let's do it by length. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of amount right there and we're going to do sort by item dot length. And then we're going to hit save and pull that back in. Hit enter. This is the the and we'll do ending just so that it's longer ending this is the the ending is this at this point it doesn't matter actually ending ending and then hit enter and now what it's done is it's sorted by how long the word is and and to exp do this better let's uh, pull that back in 
So to show this again, I'm just going to do this is the ending. This is the this is and this hit enter. And you can see here that it's just sorting by the larger word. It doesn't even concern itself with these numbers, just the largest string here ending this the is. Now we could actually reverse this or not reverse this because we have it reversed currently. And so it would actually normally just do it by the lower amount if we do dot length. So if we comment out frequencies dot reverse and hit save, we pull that in again, hit enter. This is the ending. This is the, this is this, hit enter. And now you can see that it's sorting by the lower amount going up. So I'm going to pull this away again so you can look at that while I'm closing. Here we go. My name is Jacob Williams. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video or the tutorial, please go ahead and share it and like it. I really appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments. If somebody's asked a question in the comments and you know the answer and I haven't gotten back to them, please just go ahead and answer it. Um, it's really appreciated. Also, if there's other ways or shortcuts, again, um, I had somebody tell another way of doing something in the, from the last episode and uh, uh, it was the prime numbers one and I thought it was really cool that uh, he put in, or he or she, I don't know, uh, put in other ways to write the program and I love that. It's absolutely the best thing for anybody who's learning is to know all different ways. And so yeah, I welcome it. Don't don't think that I'm going to feel, uh, I'm going to feel like you're encroaching or if you're, you know, you know how it can be like. It's not my video, these videos are for you guys. And so if you wanna help each other out, if you wanna put better ideas in the comments, if you wanna one-up me, totally do it, I appreciate it. Hope you have a good one, and we will talk to you later.